the most current project I'm doing on family businesses is looking at employees. So a lot of the papers we have in the literature looks at CEOs, looks at managers, uh, but uh, we wanted to uh, look deeper into the employees of family firms and see whether um, being an employee, whether employees in family firms exert more effort than employees in non-family firms. And there are many uh, reasons and many theories around that people think that, uh, that family firm employees might differ than non-family firm employees. So one is you can think in a family business, uh, you monitor more. If you are a family business owner, you have your wealth tied to the business and you really monitor a lot your employees. And the other way, that another mechanism that can uh, affect effort in a family business is uh, implicit contracts in, uh, that uh, my employees work harder for me, but then I will uh, protect them uh, during bad times. I will um, actually, when we have a recession, I'm not gonna fire people as much. Um, so for us, what we wanted to first see is, let's take the old firms. Do we see any variation in uh, effort? Do we see some firms having employees that work very hard and some firms that the employees work less hard? Uh, and we found a lot of variation among these firms. Um, and then initially we were only interested in family businesses, but and it was really coming very strong as a result that employees in family businesses have uh, higher efforts, uh, they exert more effort, and we were measuring effort through absenteeism. So how often do you call it sick? You know, you pick up the phone and you're saying, I'm not coming in my office today, I'm sick. Uh, so they found so absenteeism. So we were finding that employees in family firms have uh, less absenteeism. Um, when we presented these results, and it was very strong results, uh, a common question we got is, is it what you find because family firms are different in a way they incentivize employees, uh, in the way they, the culture of the place, how they treat employees, or it just, there's a different selection of employees in this type of firms. Maybe family firms are good at selecting high effort employee, high motivation employees. Um, so then uh, we found them, we basically thought ab hard about this and we employed a methodology to disentangle these two. So being able to say uh, how much of the difference we find between firms in absenteeism is because of something about the firm, the culture, the environment, the incentives in the firm uh, versus something about the selection of type of employees I have. The research I have on absenteeism uh, uh, is in an effort to look deeper into the employee, uh, which is very challenging to have, uh, to observe uh, employees from a wide range of firms, family, non-family, and understand how they are different. Uh, and when you're thinking about a practitioner or a consultant, uh, they're able to see few firms through their careers, and they go very deep in one firm, which is something as an academic I cannot do, uh, but they're looking at a kind of a selective set of firms. 